friends of our daily light channel your sister grace again welcome to today's rendezvous of the word of god here we see the word as it is as given to us by the holy spirit in fellowship hallelujah you are all very welcome thank you for watching till the end and thank you to every subscriber who wrote to 1000 we are closer than when we began and it's because of you i thank every daily life subscriber please if you are just an occasional viewer you're welcome but do well to leave a subscribe hallelujah friends the word i'm about to deliver to us this week and today is coming from matthew chapter 9 from verse 1 to 8 it is like an encouragement i want to call it a freestyle word fellowship that is what we're having today freestyle word fellowship hallelujah from this book of matthew but this word is coming to those who feel down those who need a push and encouragement from the lord are you being criticized a lot by your own countrymen let me say that because jesus himself faced it and he has sent me today to speak to you listening to me that even in that criticism he is still god that is the lord of your life and he is still saying something so listen to what he says not what they are saying hear the word of the lord the bible says in matthew 9 from verse 1 and he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. Jesus says he came into his own city. But behold, verse 2, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto this sick of palsy man, hallelujah. I will be paraphrasing, please. Son, Jesus said, be of good cheer, be happy, thy sins are forgiven thee. Verse 3, and behold, certain of the scribes, here we dwell, hallelujah. Certain of the scribes, those who know the word, those who were schooled in the word, those who know the word to their fingertips, but they did not know Jesus. They did not know the workings of Jesus. They did not know how Jesus was going to operate or how he's operating in that season, hallelujah. All they knew was to criticize what they saw that is not far from their nostrils. The scribes who do not think by the leading of the Holy Spirit, they think from self. Hallelujah. The Bible says in verse 3, And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, Hear this, this man blasphemed. Whatever those critics are saying within themselves, this is the word unto you listening to me. You feel down. You feel like the world is against you. You feel like whatever you do is not enough. It is a topic for busy bodies to carry around and be saying all type of jargons. And you want to feel like God is not with you. No, 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 no. I came with this word. Even if they criticize you, through the fact that they criticize you, if you are in the word of God, you know you are a child of God. Know that you are going somewhere. Don't take it to self. Except in your heart. The Bible says if your heart does not condemn you, you are not wrong. Hallelujah. If you know in your heart that that which you are doing is of God and from God. Friends, keep your peace. Hold your calm. Jesus is speaking to you. Hallelujah. They will always criticize. They will jump into conclusions. There are some that they criticize even by your, they criticize your thoughts. You are thinking you've not said it, but people have already, they're already criticizing. Hallelujah. They criticize your words, your intentions, your imaginations. Yes, they carry it. They blow it at the rooftops, but God says he is with you. Hallelujah. In it, because he's the one directing your footsteps. Hallelujah. Not them, not what they say. Praise the Lord. Verse 5 and 6. Jesus just had to show them the evidence. I'm praying for someone now. May your evidence speak louder. Above that criticism. Above that thing that is bringing your spirit down. Above that thing that when you think of your very own. 
The ones that eat bread with you. The ones you walk in sweet fellowship into the house of the Lord. But criticism is coming from them. God is with you. Hallelujah. I speak calm. Peace be still. Into your spirit, your soul, your mind, your body. Let God arise for you. Let Jesus speak for you. As I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Verse 4 says, Jesus knows their hearts. Hallelujah. And he knows what they are saying against your life. Keep your calm. That is the word I came for you. Keep your calm. Jesus is in the matter. The Bible says in John chapter 2 verse 24 to 25. This very Jesus. The Bible says he knows men. He knew men. So he never committed himself to them. Mm -mm. He knew their thoughts that the foundation of a man's heart is evil. And a man is desperately wicked from birth. Be it the heart of man. Is tuned to wickedness. Is tuned to evil. Don't buy into that. If you know you're walking in the will of God, doing what God asks you to do, don't buy into their choo -choo -choo, into their criticisms. Let it not have a foothold over your life. That is the message of the Lord unto you listening to me. The Bible says he, Jesus, did not commit himself to them because he knew the heart of men. If you commit yourself, you want to think of what they are saying. You want to think of their criticism. Maybe in your marriage. Maybe in your ministry. Maybe in your home. Maybe in your community. No, you will die early. And life continues. They will continue with their evil work. Hallelujah. Let your mind get out of it. God, pray it and leave it in the hands of God. Hallelujah. What silenced them is the evidence. The evidence silenced them in verse 6. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and he arose, that the sick man with palsy, he arose and departed to his house. A man who could not walk, the evidence spoke. As I pray for you, may the evidence of the Lord speak for everyone that is speaking against you. Everyone that is saying things that you don't even know about. May that evidence that God is bringing your way, may it speak louder. To their shame and disgrace in this season of your life in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah with this word that has come out i place you into that place of visibility that thing in which god will put his hand on may god locate it and answer you for good in the name of jesus may tears your secret tears of the night May it be wiped out in the name of Jesus. May the Holy Spirit answer you speedily this week and this season. Even before you know it, may God answer you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray as you go through the week, the hand of the Lord be upon you, upon your business, your career, your marriage, your children, your ministry, and whatever you put your hands to do, that contract will not fail. That contract will be approved. Hallelujah. And you will dance for joy when it is approved. This week, the contract will be approved. Enough is enough. God is approving the contract. Hallelujah. God bless you, friends of our Daily Light channel. Stay glued to Jesus alone. And remember that I, your sister, I love you. But Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he loves you more than I do. Stay blessed. Hallelujah.